Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a another how-to tutorial video that I never agreed what it was called before I don't think but anyway it has been a good while hasn't it it has been like two years since my last one and as of late I was requested if I could make a tutorial how to recolor a existing items wallpapers floors whatever in the Sims 4 Studio. And indeed, yes, I can. Um, at least this is how I recolor um, wallpapers and floors and create them myself. There is definitely other ways. I know for sure that people are using Blender and other alternatives to do these, especially in the object and create a sim area. But I... I'm not skilled with Blender, so you need to look for a Blender guide somewhere else. Head out now. <laughs> so you have already watched my previous how to wallpaper tutorial, so I'm just gonna hit on right away. You have your Sims 4 Studio. We will be adding a creator name. It usually is ready uh, filled in if you have filled it in once. Then we shall go to the build standalone recolor as per usual. We shall be using uh, some whatever uh, wallpaper at this mo moment. There is a wall, floor, roof, foundations, whatever. If you want to experiment, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to click on one randomly here and it'll be for tutorial uh, services here. I have already tried it once, so I'm just going to, you know, name it whatever you want. And I'm just going to override this one so ignore that so as in the first how to this is what you will be coming up from now normally you would have opened a short medium tall already in photoshop what we can do now is just export these all and we can go straight to here I can just find the tutorial here. We can export these all in here. And I'm gonna, if I'm correct, we can open this PNGs at the Photoshop. Photoshop and Photoshop. So you can either track them to your Photoshop or you can, um, as you saw, open with. And then we are gonna look at the size here. We see that it is 256 times 768, which means that we are gonna be resizing it. Here we go. We will resize this as well. And then the medium. Here we go. Now, you. I do not know, I, I use Photoshop myself, but I am sure that the other alternative skims and everything else have something called color replacement tool. This is something that will uh, override the original color of the picture, but it will not do as a brush tool to, you know, you could probably do really cool like seamless art with this if you wanted to. I am not artistic like that, so I'm just using the replacement tool here. And let's go with some freaky color here. We could go crazy orange or a little bit more tame like a green or uh, turquoise here. We could also uh, go dimmer. We could go put blinding bright here or whatever and add contrast. Uh, reduce contrast, you can do all these things. Uh oh, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's get that out. And then you can also use the color balance here. So we could add red here. We could add the hopeful red and full purple to make hot pink or maybe greens and blues and you know, whatever you like in these options. It's whatever you like to do. I'm just gonna hit hit it to be this cute little pink. I'm gonna recolor it on all. 
And here comes the difference now that what has changed between the two years that I have been doing this and learned that you can indeed use PNG as a save mode. You don't need to change it to the DDS. As you can see, I don't even have DDS anymore installed. I haven't installed it after I have reinstalled my computer. So I have always used PNG. So we need to remember what we are saving. Short diffuse map, one, let's do that. And then large file size. Of course, we want the highest quality per, uh, picture. Save them all. And I always put them by co uh, numbers because I like to, you know, remember in what order I have added colors or whatever. And then let's put like a turquoise green as another one. I'm going to add another swatch here as well, just to show you that how to do it as well. So there we go. That's a number two and a PNG. Highest quality. Number two, PNG. Highest quality. Now we can head back to our Sims 4 Studio. Now we will be uh, importing these colors. So as you can see, the colors are here that you just made. Sorry, brain fart there. And we want the right sizes into right spots here. So keep an eye out where you are putting what. Then you can add a swatch. You can add them again. Now we start from the tall to the medium because I was lazy to change that. <laughs> oh, that was pink. We want the green. And then you can add, you can either go uh, press a I and look for the actual swatch that you have used and add it in here. My mouse would agree with me. Maybe. No. There we go. I don't know what's going on with my mouse, sorry. It moves, but it doesn't recognize anything. So you can either copy the swatch from your Photoshop or alternative, or you can just, you know, whatever looks close enough, you can, you know, choose it from here. So now you just give it a name, tutorial, and you can put some information here, tutorial. It can cost a lot or it can cost nothing. And then tags, if you wanted to add these, you could. So this is a red or pink, whatever you consider. And this is either a blue or green, whichever you consider. You save it, your package has been saved. And after you have done uh, the tags and whatever else, you will be taking your package, you will hit Ctrl C to copy, you will go to your Sims 4 file, wherever it is, into mods file and add it into your mod folder. And then we shall open the startup Sims. You can load whatever lot, whatever save file, whatever you wish to test it out and see that your save file has been unaffected and hasn't corrupted on the process of saving it. I am in Tartosa. We shall swap it to daylight. I'm gonna make a random wall. Right, so where's the light side here? Excellent. Very, very unnecessarily big wall. Okay, there we go. And then we shall try to find the original, what we had in mind. I'm gonna filter by this. Maybe we can find it from the dials. No, I don't actually have any idea what dial it was that we recolored. What was the, oh, this one, right. So we recolored this one and then we shall Go to custom content and we find it here. And it has now swatches as well. How brilliant is that? There you go. And then obviously it'll change from whatever height your wall will be. And the texture, the um, 
lines will be the same. It hasn't gotten wonky because of the sizing has been corrected. So remember always do that and the right height BNG has been added to the right in Sims 4 Studio. But that's all from me today. I hope you had good time and I hope this helped you to understand the recoloring process of the existing uh, uh, patterns in the Sims 4. At least for wallpapers. This same goes for the floor. You can you export the floor picture, save it as you did for the wall. On the floor as though you only have one picture. You don't go from, you know, you don't need to do all the angles or whatever. You can just do it from the one teeny tiny square that the game gives like this. <laughs> or you can make completely new, new looking floors as well. You can just add the uh, pattern for that. So, yeah, there's many options here. You can do whatever you wish really, but yeah. Uh, floors, very easy. Just as walls, very easy. I hope you had a good time. I hope this helped you. Ask any questions if something was unclear. I hope this was just a addition to the other original how-to video. Happy simming and bye-bye.